Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This time we are looking into the brand new Gamora hero pack from uh, Marvel Champions card game. So let's get started. I have been actually waiting for Gamora more than Star Lord uh, because I feel like Gamora can be a really strong uh, true solo hero for Marvel Champions. Uh, this is because uh, Gamora has the special ability to take uh, toward or attack events from any uh, classes so and up to six uh, from other classes than the chosen aspect but uh, we'll get into that more uh, in a bit. First let's start by looking at Gamora's uh, Alter Ego side, so as the other Guardian so far, Gamora's uh, title is Gamora on both sides of the card. So there are no Alter Ego names or anything like that. Uh, Gamora has a record area of 3, uh, the Otlo trait and skill tactician. You may include up to 6 attack and or thwart events in your deck from aspects other than your chosen aspect. So what this means is that you can include up to 6 thwart events or up to 6 um, attack events or anything, any mix of these but the total amount you can include from other aspects is 6. So you can't include 6 attack and 6 thwart or anything like that just to make it clear. So it will be 6 from other uh, aspects than the chosen aspect. So if I'm uh, uh, choosing uh, aggression, then I can choose from leadership, protection and justice the 6 uh, events. And they can be any mix of attacks and war cards. Okay, and action, look at the top card of your deck. If, it, if that card is an attack or fourth event, Draw it, limit once per round. Uh, the hand size is 6 and there uh, Gamora has 6 hit points. Okay, well uh, this clearly means you want to load your deck up with uh, attack or thwart events so that you can uh, more reliably draw an extra card when you're in Alter Ego. Uh, let's look at the hero side. So uh, Gamora has 2 thwart, 2 attack and 2 defense. Uh, she has the Guardian uh, trait. Finesse response. After you play an attack event, remove one threat from a scheme limit once per phase. And precision response. After you play a thwart event, deal one damage to an enemy limit once per phase. So uh, immediately I'm really liking the 2 2 2 stat line for the basic actions. And uh, also, the finesse and precision will make you really all-arounder. So even if you're fighting and dealing dam damage with the uh, attack abilities, you are thwarting also. Uh, of course, it's limited once per phase, so uh, you can just go overboard with it. But at least you can do a little bit of thwarting while you're dealing damage and vice versa. So really liking uh, Gamora's hero side and the hand size is 5 and hit points 10. So let's start looking at the uh, class card or the uh, signature cards. First we have the signature ally Nebula. Uh, Nebula is a 2 cost ally, 2 toward 2 attack and 2 hit points. Nebula has the guardian trait response after Nebula enters play, search your deck for an attack or thwart event and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck and Nebula can be committed as a wild resource. So Nebula looks really, really beefy. Uh, two cost ally with two attack and two thwart and you also get a card when you play Nebula. So there must be a drawback. Well, <laughs> I won't spoil it yet, but there is. Um, so a really powerful ally which you want to play and use fast and let's 
keep moving. Uh, we have acrobatic move. There are uh, two copies of this in the deck. So acrobatic move is a zero cost event. Attack, hero action, attack, deal two damage to an enemy. And acrobatic move can be committed as a wild, not, not a wild, but energy resource. So uh, again with Gamora's ability. You play this, it's a zero cost event that deals two damage and removes one threat. So really good, in my opinion. Then we have another event, a cross counter. It's a one cost event. It has the attack, defense and ward traits. Hero interrupt attack, shall last defense, last ward. Uh, when you would take any amount of damage, prevent three of that damage, deal one damage to an enemy. Uh, remove one threat from a scheme and it can be committed as a uh, physical resource. So, uh, wrapping my head around this, uh, basically you can choose, I think you can choose in which, if you're committing, uh, playing this card as an attack, defense or thwart or it's all of them. So, I have to Possibly check if there's a, a question about this, that do you trigger both finesse and precision? So if we look, uh, we have finesse and precision on Gamora. So uh, if I'm using this, do I trigger both finesse and uh, precision? Well, I think I'll check it uh, from a FIQ or if there's a question on Facebook or somewhere how this actually works because I'm not a hundred percent sure but maybe you trigger both of them maybe you can choose which you trigger or anything but yeah I'm really uh, liking this card so you can prevent damage and deal a damage and remove a threat and also trigger those finesse and precisions possibly and there are two copies of this in the deck Next we have uh, Set the Pace, it's a zero cost event, it's a thwart uh, traded event, zero action thwart, remove one threat from a scheme, and it can be committed as a physical resource. So with this you can trigger the uh, precision, so you can deal also a damage when you play this, and there are two copies of this in the deck. Next we have uh, Decisive Blow, it's a two cost event. Uh, it's an attack. Uh, hero action attack deal 4 damage to an enemy, 7 damage instead if you have played a thwart event this turn. So, uh, for example, in combination of playing first set the pace, so you have played a thwart event, uh, this is a really powerful 2 cost attack event. And this also can be committed as a physical resource. So, uh, this is a pretty strong card because you probably are playing. Uh, uh, Twart events and then this and there are two copies of this in the deck Next we have uh, forward momentum. It's a two cost event It's a Twart uh, hero action Twart remove three threat from a scheme five threat instead if you have played an attack event this turn And it can be committed as a mental resource and there are uh, two copies of this in the deck and uh, again a really strong card if you have played uh, Zero cost attack event, for example. So, really liking these combos with Gamora. Uh, Gamora is definitely rising in rank for my most favorable uh, hero so far. But uh, let's look at the rest of the cards. Uh, then we have the conditioning room. It's a one cost support location, alter ego action, exhaust condition room. Uh, return the bottom most attack or thwart event from a discard pile into your hand. Heal one damage from Gamora, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So another uh, strong support that heals and also draws you a card from your bottom of your discard. So uh, I think this is pretty similar to. Uh, Steve Rogers apartment that heals you for one damage and draws you a card, but this uh, is uh, 
uh, targeted to drawing a card from your discard and the bottom or so you, you know what you are drawing. So I, I'm liking that support. Uh, next we have uh, an upgrade and there are two copies of this upgrade. It's a one cost upgrade, it's Keen Instincts, it's a skill, a resource exhaust Keen Instincts generate a wild resource for an attack or thwart event and it can be committed as a energy resource. So uh, this is a really really good upgrade because Gamora is probably playing a lot of attack or thwart events so this is pretty similar to for example Super Soldier Serum or God of Thunder or something like that but it is targeted towards the events that Gamora is most definitely playing a lot. So, a pretty good card. Next, uh, we have Gamora Sword. It's a 3 cost upgrade. It's a weapon. Restricted, so max 2 restricted cards per player. Uh, response after you play an attack event, deal 1 damage to an enemy. So, this is a really, really good card. It combos with all of those attack events you have in your deck. This also can be committed as a physical resource. So uh, you probably want to get this down early. That is all of the uh, signature cards. So let's look at the aspect card. So Gamora comes with the aggression aspect, but uh, because Gamora can include other cards, uh, the Thwart and Attack events from other aspects. We have also attack events from protection and thwarted events from uh, justice. So let's start looking at the aspect cards. So we have the aggression aspect ally Angelic Angela. Uh, uh, Angela is a zero cost ally. Thwart zero, attack of two, Asgard guardian three uh, health, force response. After Angela enters play under your control, search top 10 cards of the encounter deck for a minion and put it in the play engage with you. Shuffle the encounter deck. If a minion was not put in the play this way, discard Angela. Okay, so you will definitely get an, uh, a minion, but if you don't, you also lose Angela. So I think this should be quite okay. An ally in the galaxy's most wanted campaign at least because there are so many enemy uh, minions in that set so this looks like a really good uh, aggression ally then we have clubber and of course there are three copies of this in the deck so clubber is a two cost event it's an attack event uh, Attack traded event, uh, hero action attack, deal 3 damage to an enemy. If this is the first card you have played this round, return this card to your hand. Okay, so it's a haymaker that returns into your hand if you played as the first card in, of the round. Okay, well, uh, pretty decent card. It, it can be committed as a, a physical resource. Uh, next we have a plan of attack, it's a zero cost event, it's a tactic traded event. Action search the top 4 cards of your deck, top 7 cards instead if you are in alter ego form for an attack event and add that card to your hand, shuffle your deck and plan of attack can be committed as a mental resource. So um, this is basically a card that um, will cycle your deck faster so you find those um, attack events that you really want to play so pretty good card in my opinion and of course there are three copies of this then uh, we have a reprint uppercut I won't go into really much detail of, of the reprints so two copies of uppercut then uh, we have a new protection card uh, it is first hit it's a one cost event, it's an attack, a uh, traded event, hero action attack, deal 2 damage to the villain, hero interrupt, attack, when a minion initiates an attack, deal 2 damage to that minion. 
and it can be committed as a, a energy resource. Okay, so uh, this will combo outside of the hero phase, so in the enemy phase or the villain phase, if a minion is attacking, you can use this to trigger Gamora's um, uh, well, yeah, it's an attack, so you are triggering the finesse. Okay, so this seems like a really good hardcore Gamora, and there are three copies of this also. Uh, then we have the Justice uh, event in the pack Impede. Uh, it's a two cost event for traded hero action port. Remove three threat from the main scheme. This is the first card you have played this round. Return this card to your hand. So uh, this is the uh, justice version of the clobber. So and this can be committed as, as a mental resource. So pretty strong um, thwarting card. So you can play this, return it into your hand, play it again, and uh, remove total of six threat and or three threat from a main scheme and a side scheme and whatever. So. Uh, pretty pretty good um, event and of course it triggers the um, precision ability on Gamora then we have another preprint uh, we have uh, two copies of combat training so not talking about that that much then we have another uh, upgrade it's a three cross upgrade god slayer it's a weapon restricted, so only two restricted, re restricted cards per player. Hero interrupt when your hero makes basic attack against an unique enemy. Uh, exhaust, God Slayer, your hero gets plus two attack for this, uh, for that attack. So, uh, this could be really good against uh, some uh, Nemesis minions, and of course, you can always trigger this when attacking the villain so that seems like a good good upgrade then we have a Drax ally version Drax is a three cost ally uh, one for three attack guardian play only if your identity has the guardian trait four hit points Drax cannot attack minions okay so uh, Drax can be committed to uh, as a mental resource, uh, not a mental but a physical resource. So, okay, Drax is the uh, ally that only goes after the villain, so you probably want to attack three times and then defend with Drax. So, okay, uh, pretty thematic ally. Next, uh, we have a Hit and Run. It's a basic uh, free cost event there are three copies of it uh, it's an attack and four traded events hero action attack slash fort deal two damage to an enemy remove two threat from a scheme okay and you also get to trigger your um, abilities with Gamora with this and it can be committed as a uh, energy resource so this really uh, looks like the Signature basic event for Gamora, but uh, also works pretty well with other heroes, I think. So, next we have uh, the uh, basic resource cards, energy, genius and strength. And that is all of the cards that come in uh, the Gamora uh, pre-built deck. We also get more... Uh, Part for the other aspects and we also get a reprint basic upgrade but let's look at those next so uh, the, there is a new justice event a pivotal move, moment it's a two cost event attack hero action attack deal two damage to the villain five damage instead if there is no threat on the main scheme so pretty strong uh, event and it can be committed as a physical resource. And then we have uh, 
leadership upgrade, uh, comms implant, it's a one cost upgrade, item tech, attached to a guardian ally, max one per ally, attached ally gets plus one toward and plus one hit point. So this is a pretty, pretty good uh, leadership upgrade. And uh, if you're playing, uh, for example, Rocket Raccoon, you might want to include uh, multiples in your deck because you can uh, discard these to draw cards and stuff like that. Uh, so, pretty interesting. And, uh, and then we have True Grit. It's a uh, protection event, one cost event toward, respond toward after your hero defends against an enemy attack, uh, remove threat from the scheme equal to your hero's towards. Okay. So, and it can be committed as an energy resource. So, another towards uh, event for protection, which I really like. And the last uh, cards are uh, enhanced reflexes, which we already have. Those are all the uh, hero or player cards. So lastly, let's look at the uh, obligation and nemesis cards. Uh, we have as the obligation unfulfilled destiny. Uh, it's an obligation give to the Gamora player. Uh, you may flip to alter ego form, uh, choose Exhaust your alter ego, remove unfulfilled destiny from the game, choose and discard two events from the hand, discard this obligation, and it has two boost icons. So it uh, really hits to Nebula, no, to Gamora's um, deck having a lot of uh, attack or ward events, so you have to lose two events if you can't um, uh, exhaust your alter ego. Then uh, we have the Nemesis uh, side scheme, it's the Sibling Rivalry. Uh, sibling Rivalry uh, has three boost icons, comes into play with four threat on it. Players other than Gamora cannot remove threat from Sibling Rivalry. Force response after the villain phase begins, deal one phase on a counter card to Gamora. So, nothing really uh, special if you're playing through solo in multiplayer Gamora might have to focus to get rid of this and the other players can't help so a quite thematic side scheme uh, then uh, let's bring back a nebula ally version and uh, the nemesis minion is nebula And uh, uh, Nebula minion version has one scheme and two attack. Elite, Scoundrel, 5 health, Retaliate 2. Post interrupt when this minion would enter play, discard the Nebula ally from play. So if you have this in play, you have to discard it and then you have to get rid of uh, Nebula uh, minion version. And Nebula uh, minion version has three boost items. So, pretty thematic that Nebula could um, betray you while you are fighting an a villain. Then, uh, in a bind, attachment, attached to Gamora. Treat Gamora's printed text box as if it were blank, except, except for traits. Hero action, choose and discard an attack event from your hand and deal one damage to Gamora. Discard, discard. So, this is a pretty annoying attachment. It, basically turns off uh, Gamora's uh, finesse and precision, so you really want to get rid of this first. And then we have two copies of Waylay Treachery. So Waylay is a treachery when real stun and confuse Gamora. If Gamora is already stunned and confused, this kind of gains, uh, gains search, so already stunned or confused. So this is Pretty nasty. Uh, it also has two boost icons. So this just uh, stops you from uh, doing a lot of stuff on your turn. So you have to play events to get 
rid of those stuns and confuses. And also if you have either of those um, um, stat, stat cards in play, uh, then this gain search, which is really, really nasty. Okay, well, those are all of the cards in, that come in the Gamora's Hero Pack. Hope you guys like this uh, overview of the Hero Pack. I will be sleeving up the pre-built deck and going against uh, a villain. I still haven't decided which villain, but I will be trying Gamora out with the pre-built deck first before I start deck building with her. I'm really liking this Hero Pack, so I am pretty sure Gamora will be a blast to play with. So thanks for watching and until next time.